Mr. Parker here to do a uh, review for the DVD Fiends. Yes! Anyways, uh, movie I'll be reviewing uh, has some sort of a following to it. Uh, it's not released in America, which is I'm sure it will be eventually. I guess it's an Aussie horror movie. Very Americanized, in my opinion. And uh, my friend's opinion, who watched it with me, thought it was an American movie before I, I was like, no, I think this is from Australia. But uh, this is the UK edition uh, from Optium releasing, which is a great company for DVDs in the UK. I import a lot of their stuff. They release prison and stuff, but it's called The Loved Ones. I think a lot of uh, uh, kind of uh, fans of horror movies will enjoy this one. It basically follows uh, our lead here, who uh, accidentally killed his father in a car accident because he swerved out of the road to not hit a bloodied person. Uh, of course, his mother, six months later, is really worried about him driving, and he's an emotional wreck. Uh, and he ends up being really depressed and cutting himself and stuff. That's kind of cheesy, you know. Come on. Not every kid who's depressed cuts themselves, all right? But uh, anyways, it is high school. So um, he ends up uh, being invited to a dance by a strange girl who it seems that no one really likes. She's kind of a joke, Lola Stone. He turns her down because, of course, he already has a date uh, with his girlfriend at the time. And, uh, of course, Lola does not take, she takes that to heart a little too much. Come the night of the dance, uh, Lola kidnaps him with the help of her father, and some horrible things begin to happen. Uh, some horrific torture, uh, a lot of mind screws, and all I gotta say about the home scene is poor Bright Eyes. There's this poor old lady there. Man, she has no clue what's going on. She's got a drill in her head. It looks like her brains have been fried, and in a way they have, and that's what they have in plan for him. Of course, there's a couple twists here. There's a there's a nice little surprise in there, kind of a, you know, you see it coming after a while, but uh, it's actually really pretty much all around entertaining, and it's kind of like a revenge type horror. Uh, a lot like a slash film, but not necessarily. Uh, it's got some a couple scenes of pretty brutal torture. And uh, our lead, I think he did pretty good. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, he's got a horrific scream. His scream, when he screams, is just like, it's like a real nasty, like, gro groggy scream, and it's really kind of actually uh, very uh, good. It sounds like he's terrified or in pain or whatever. But uh, there's a drill scene in here, which is quite excellent. Uh, a couple pretty horrifically violent scenes as well. And a little side plot of kind of comedy at the dance with uh, his best friend and a kind of a gothic girl who lost her brother. Which is somewhat related to uh, our character who lost his dad. But uh, that's pretty much it. And it's a lot of fun and I would recommend it. It's like 3.25 out of 5. And it's good quality stuff here. I mean, if people like Dance of the Dead, this is a little more serious, but you can uh, kind of relate it to that. Maybe Cabin Fever, too. But this is way more serious and actually uh, has a lot more like plot structure than uh, something like Cabin Fever or Dance of the Dead. Cabin Fever 2, I mean. I'd say this is probably better than uh, Cabin Fever 2 for sure. At least edited much better. Uh, not a bad flick at all, and I would recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I might rebuy the U.S. release when it is there, but uh, check it out. It's from Optimum Releasing, and it's a pretty cool damn movie. And unfortunately, I guess that guy's in one of the Twilight movies because it was advertised all over the front of the case, and I was like, ah, shit. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, it's kind of funny to see all these like teeny bopper girls popping it in and then seeing this kind of horrific horror movie. Not super horrific, but it's going to be horrific for them. But uh, that's my review, and uh, have a good one. Bye. Boys shouldn't eat girls.
This one's for the king's sword. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Tell me what it looks like.